What's up with the gang? It's your boy Josh, and it's Twitter Man. We're back with another video, man. Today we got a video y'all been blowing me up for. I ain't never heard of it, but we got NBA Young Boy. Why? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm childish. I'm the childish one. <laughs> You've been acting ignorant all day on evening. We got NBA Young Boy, Black Bob from the music industry. Y'all want it, so we got y'all. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram up here. Twitch link in the bio, Instagram link in the bio. Road to 100K. Let's get straight to the video. Gang. When Drake dropped, everybody in their mama posted his album. If Thug drops, the whole industry posted. Travis drops, the whole industry posted. Facts. Young Boy dropped, and it was not that many. You might say, well, Young Boy don't f with nobody. And, and that's true. Young Boy in the last year has been on collabs with Future, Migos, Nicki Minaj. Did all of them post his album? Did they show the support? I, I think that Young Boy was used in a good capacity for other artists when they needed it. Singles. It kind of shows me how clicky the industry is. If you're a part of the click, they basically hook you out. But if you're not really that clicky with everybody, they act like and he was out. After starting his career at 14 with a microphone that he purchased from a Louisiana Walmart, young boy has gone from strength to strength. Over time, becoming one of the most successful and fiercely adored artists of his generation. Along the way, he's wrecked up number one. Do you know what black ball mean? Do you? Yes. What does it mean? You speaking like I don't know. You ask me all the time, what does it mean? And I'm and I'm telling you now that I do know what it means. Okay. Plenty of platinum certified projects. Given his accolades, a hip hop layman will be forgiven for thinking that young boy's journey to achieve such success had come through being a manufactured product fresh off the major label assembly line. But in fact, it's come in spite of his fractious relationship with his label Atlantic. And after signing to the world Well, why be had Atlantic records? He That's what he's it's through. come in spite of his fractious relationship with his label, Atlantic. And after signing to the world famous conglomerate in 2017, Youngboy quickly returned to doing what he did best and continued to build the hype in preparation for his first studio album until Death Call My Name in 2018. But by the time he was gearing up to release his sophomore project, Top, in September 2020, any hopes of a harmonious relationship between them had all but disintegrated. After having his attempts to buy his masters rejected, in spite of the fact that he offered his next four albums for free, Youngboy would begin to express his displeasure with the label at every opportunity. And if his assessment of the situation is to be believed, it's basically resulted in them attempting to blackball it. Sparked by the removal of his Colors mixtape from an Apple Music chart, why suggested that his label was trying to place roadblocks in the way of his success. I was going number one two weeks straight with a mixtape, so they took it down off the charts. I don't give a f you still can't stop me. He wrote via a YouTube community post. Don't sign to Atlantic. If you're an artist, they're not going to support you, especially if you live a certain way. Angered but undeterred, Youngboy has barely taken his foot off the gas since and went on the offensive once more during a defiant track with Birdman where he spoke about how they tried to block me out, blackball, but they see me now. And while it can be hard to reconcile the notion of being blackballed with having 20 projects that have entered the top 20 to your name, it turns out that these days, there's more reasons than ever for them to want to take Youngboy down a peg. Recently, the news that Better Than You, his collaborative project with DaBaby just sold 30K in the first week, has aroused the suspicion of many. Not least of all, the always inquisitive Joe Budden. Young boy being a part of anything to sell 30,000 uh, week one looks fishy. I know what he do, and I know what he just finished doing. He just finished beating Drake for the number one album, then he was tied, he was close for the next five weeks. You know what he do on YouTube, you know what he do, he run the numbers up. They're supposed to get 2.5 million, because you would assume yeah. that this goes. And then young boy just pops up saying, y'all, Atlantic. And now magically, beating Drake, <laughs> that, mm. it looks like there's not, there's no support there. Absolutely. You know, so it looked like more than that. It looked like this is stepped on. <laughs> Engaged in a cold war with a company that owns his likeness, young boy finds himself in a rare position of realizing that his record deal doesn't benefit him at all. Denounced by independent pioneers such as Master P and Russ, Youngboy's deal has been a subject of controversy for years now. And considering that he signed for an alleged two million, it's not hard to see why. In fact, his YouTube numbers alone would prove that he's had anything but a fair shake. Over the years, Youngboy's videos have accumulated over nine billion views. And while Lord, they're, nine they're, they're billion that, views. That he has had a, they saying he's had a fair shake? No, he hasn't. Oh, I thought okay. No, hold on, go back. 
fair shake. Over the years, Youngboy's vi- In fact, his- For years now. And considering that he signed for an alleged 2 million, it's not hard to see why. In fact, his YouTube numbers alone would prove that he's had anything but a fair shake. Over the years, okay. Youngboy's videos have accumulated over 9 billion views. And while Drake has reigned supreme on the other streaming platforms, Youngboy has long been the king of YouTube. NBA Youngboy's YouTube page generates 292 million views a month, revealed wow. academics in a 2021 tweet, which means YouTube pays out his label approximately 1.4 million a month, approximately 16.8 million per year just for his YouTube content. If this is true, it suggests that he's been nothing less than exploited. And now, it appears that Youngboy is trying his best to be the whistleblower to stop other artists from signing. What? He can't wait to get that thing contract. So how long does he have? Yeah. He don't got that much long. I don't know you have a lot of... I think it's the, the thing, the thing about it is that this, this is, it's a dirty, dirty business. It really is. And when not many cats reach, I mean, actually, I don't, I don't think anybody has reached his, his level <clears throat> as quickly as he has. At the same time, there's his, his surgeons is also based on this new era that we're living in as far as as far as uh the digital era and youtube and, and social media and all of that but he's he's he i i understand if just from what from this little bit i understand why i understand why he's grouchy i'd be mad too i barely been taking advantage of i ain't never got paid from youtube a day in my life make all the money off my youtube and then give me a small percentage out of my wallet, slavers, huh? But you know that's what we signed <laughs> business. Although he acknowledged that his own youthful naivety and eagerness to sign to a label helped to create the problem, mm -hmm. Youngboy's public campaign to get artists to refuse to sign to Atlantic has likely made him public enemy number one in their headquarters. However, it's notable that rather than release this unruly employee as they would with anyone working behind a desk, they've tried everything to hold on to him. In a clear-cut example of why it'd be in their interest to kill his momentum, Academics, who is one of the few media figures that Youngboy talks to at this point, believes that they're now making a concerted effort to clip his commercial wings. If we're Atlantic Records, it makes no sense that we spend and we exhaust every option to send them off the label with a bang, knowing we already control all of his masters. We own it. Youngboy turned down every deal they, they sent to him. If he drops an album selling another 150, his leverage is so crazy that they either got to go double in the amount of money they offer him now, or they got to let him walk. It's in their best interest that he don't go too crazy, that he could be humbled and think, hey, let me stay with Atlantic. That's why I say he going to do between 120, 130, and 170. Atlantic don't want him to be independent, yep. trust yep. me. Although it seems plausible that Atlantic yep. are looking to smother his hype in fear of losing out on the profits, it should be noted that they don't account for the total sum of the industry. Adamant that the boardrooms will never back him if he doesn't live a certain way, Youngboy has also created a rod for his own back with an unsavory beef that pits him against a fellow heavyweight in the game. In recent times, Youngboy has taken up the mantle from his Never Broke Again signee, Quando Rondo, in order to feud with Lil Durk and the OTF crew. And in recent tracks, he's even slandered the memory of the late King Von, whom Quando's friend, Lil Tim, is widely believed to be responsible for the death of at every opportunity. Unsurprisingly, devoting any energy into besmirching the name of a dead man isn't exactly going to appease corporate higher-ups. However, the other wrinkle comes from the fact that while Youngboy is a notoriously insular artist who rarely does a feature or allows for guest appearances on his mixtapes, Dirk literally works with everybody. As a result, many people believe that when given the choice of which bridge to burn, artists have sided with Dirk Young. You got him Not and um, Quando and a lot with Dirk. You gotta be a certain type of artist to be able to just be in the middle. If you kicking it like your brother, so the situation on that, I feel like. So if it's me, don't be in my face with all that. Like and then be with a who you know killed my boy. Keep your love with her. I ain't we ain't doing that. While being ensnared by street politics is one thing, it seems that much of the broader musical community are distancing themselves from Young Boy's side too. And in the estimations of academics, it so you get it. The, the industry don't mess with YB because YB don't mess with Dirk. I don't think it's just just Dirk. I think I always it's a major. I mean that 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 may be one 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 piece to it, but when you when you reach a point in which you cannot be controlled 
by the machine, the machine is going to try to grind you up. And if it can't grind you up, it's, it's going to make sure that, that it hampers you as much as possible. So, so I can see why he's why he be a, a, a rebel toward Atlantic. It's, it's, the irony is that as one of their employees, he's saying, fire me, you know, or, or you know, he's doing stuff basically to say, let's get, it's, it's like you get mad at your job and you walk in and you break all the rules and they don't let you go. And the reason why they won't let you go, and it's telltale, but the reason why they won't let you go is because you're making them so much money. And so he's being used and he's calling it out and they don't, they don't want to be embarrassed. Let him go or do what's right by him. It's the same sort of thing that happened with Dave Chappelle. He, he told folk to boycott him so that Netflix ended up picking him up and, and, and paying him and you know getting everything squared away and right. So it's that same type of thing. So this, it makes sense now. I mean, not it. It makes sense. But they... King Vaughn's situation has made public support for a young boy a dangerous proposition. When Drake dropped, everybody in their mama posted his album. If Thug drops, the whole industry posted. Travis drops, the whole industry posted. Travis. <laughs> young boy Travis dropped, Travis. and it was not that many. I, I think that young boy was used in a good capacity for other artists when they needed singles. Did they reciprocate? It kind of shows me how clicky the industry is. If you're a part of the click, they basically hook you out. You're then spread thin to save everybody's career and give everybody a moment. But if you're not really that clicky with everybody, they act like and he was rap. I'm wondering if the latest situation with Quando Rondo may affect people showing love, especially industry dudes. Dirk is on fire right now. Dirk was following Young Boy, unfollowed him as soon as his page came back up. I'm wondering if that affects anything. I was told I don't understand. Quando Rondo. Hmm. I guess for me, because I haven't either heard enough or I don't see what's so what's so magnetizing about Dirk. Cause you he, know, but young boy him beefing. But what I'm saying is that what's so what makes Dirk such a draw? Mm -hmm. What what makes people fly? It's it's like why people like Dirk? Yeah, well, it's like he why is, why is he a rudder? Dirk hard. Wasn't getting industry support, and it's kind of. I dropped some all the dice on that uh, he should listen to. Bible source, because if certain entities or people support him in the industry, it would mean they're going against the other side. At the end Feud of the day, which would... you support who you want to support. Period. It shouldn't matter who says what and all that. And that's 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 part of, and that's that, and and I see see that now. That's the point. That's the argument. It's clicking. It's clicky. Unnecessary. Leo deems as big and potentially volatile as the war between Pac and Biggie. It appears that not only has the beef had the unintended effect of minimizing his list of potential collaborators, but has labels doing calculations as to whether they can sign him. Prone to laying out menacing messages to his enemies and money. They can sign him. Just do him right. This is like Biggie and Tupac, though. Well, uh... Because it's two of the biggest artists... Okay, it's a, it's a whole different different arena for me. But he's also facing a potential seven years behind bars at the moment. As a result, there's every chance that if he was even slightly less successful, then he'd be seen as damaged goods. But with the exception of the DaBaby yep. debacle, all signs suggest that even if the industry tries to stifle him, the people him won't. The In October of last year, hmm? him and DaBaby don't get along? No, they get along. Okay. All signs suggest that even if the industry tries to stifle him, the people won't. In October of last yep. year, yep. Youngboy joined yep. the illustrious ranks of Tupac and Lil Wayne to become the third man to score a number one album from behind bars. Once again, with very little promotion from Atlantic. Respected among his peers that exist beyond the street sphere, it's also been reported that new music with a fully fledged pop star and Lil Nas X could be on the way. Meanwhile, one of the culture's most uncompromising innovators has been doing his part to let the world know that Youngboy is simply misunderstood. Sending love to NBA young boy, man, for real. He's such a sweetheart, dude. Like, we kicked it a few times. Like, that's a sweet person, bro. Like, think he's just evil. Like, no, he's like fun. Similarly, co signed by Childish Gambino, who showed his solidarity with young boy by changing see, it. That's what I said before. Remember how, how it's like, it's like he's, he's expressing emotions from deep from within because he's frustrated. And. Now it's, it's making more sense, at least to me. I'd be mad too. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to fool with people. 
Similarly co-signed by Childish Gambino, who showed his solidarity with Youngboy by changing his Twitter profile to the embattled rapper, NBA has no shortage of powerful admi- Some naps on his suit? <laughs> And even if his own label might be doing their utmost to suppress him and create the illusion of downturn and fortunes, it hasn't stopped him from earning his first Grammy nomination with his Tyler collab, What's Your Name? Regarded as such a surefire hitmaker, his reputation now precedes him to such a degree that his features reportedly command a price tag of over 300000 And while this may seem like a lot, it'd be hard to argue with the data behind it. As of February, yeah. he'd surpassed both Future and Mr. Platinum with no features himself, J. Cole, in terms of quantity of the RIAA cert. He passed J. Cole. Future Drake at 22 years old. Like, oh, he passed a career see, at 22 and he's not even done. Okay, this is part of... See, it's hard for me to fully grasp the, numbers, the, numbers the don't depth lie. of it because... Well, you got social media, too, to add into it. But it's, it's like, it's like what happens... Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm 50, okay? And when you... Life gets in the way of you paying attention to music like you you know like I like I was when I was his age and so so there's a gap that happens and it's like when you you can watch music award shows and, and this that and the other and they're announcing artists and it's like I don't know who none of these folk are if if I even pay attention to, to even watch this stuff and so so now that this is happening uh, now it's, it's almost like catch up so it's like uh, there's artists that y'all have been rocking with that I have no idea who they are, and I ain't tripping with it because I, I've been doing my best to raise my family, and so so people, you know, folk will, will criticize, say, "How do you know? Do not know who this person is? How do you know who? How do you not know who that person is? Because I've been living, and there's a whole lot of folk that that fall within those gaps, and you keep living long enough, you'll fall into that same type of gap, and so so folk catch up and they sort of pass you, but. Is really not that you just got caught up in living, and so you enjoy music when you get a chance to. And it just happens to be of a point at which I'm picking up on some stuff. Other stuff I ain't worried about. I still got bills to pay. And even more impressively, he's done it while being 18 years their junior. Left in a unique position where he's both in turmoil and thriving at the exact same time, Young Boy's brand may be toxic, but that doesn't mean for one second that it isn't financially profitable. Set to become a free agent, Youngboy has a chance to cast off the shackles of major label intervention and set a new benchmark for independent artists. Go ahead. So long as his prolific workload is sustained and the fans stay as rapidly behind him as ever, then there's every chance that, blackballed or not, NBA Youngboy can't be stopped. And I, I would not for real. I want to see folk like that make it because to do it with no support, it shows that he has a drive and a grit that most people. That a whole lot of folk don't have. I would love to see him do a documentary just 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 on his own, and he probably, you know, who knows? He he's ingenuitive enough whereby he probably has something like that going on in the works. You don't know. I just say support the support the brother, support him. I don't care who you, who you are, you know, support him before you tear him down. Not just him, but just people. Period. So I just that that's that's. I'm frustrated for him, and I, I don't even know the whole situation. That, that was just that was ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I can see where I can see whereby if, if what they're spitting right now is facts, I don't blame him for being mad. And I hope he doodles on, on on everybody who hasn't supported him in the ministry. There's some other colorful stuff that that, that, that could be said, but when I he, hope he he dumps on all of them. When he get at that level, he don't nothing nothing. Nothing whips a hater like you not mentioning them but succeeding anyways. And I hope he does. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram up here. Twitch link in the bio, Instagram link in the bio. Road to 100K, man. If y'all want to see more videos like this, hit the DMs. See, if you ain't yeah. wearing no socks, subscribe, man. I watch stuff like this. It's, yeah, I watch stuff like this because this explains. At first, all he was was just a, was a grouchy young fella to me. Now, he ain't as grouchy as he should be. I just hope that, that he's able to channel that energy into even more success for him. Much love to you, young boy. Y'all be safe, gang. Peace.